from AKTE straight now to Oshun State, where the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development in conjunction with the state government has doled out cash grants to 3,280 vulnerables in the state. Plus TV Africa correspondent Olasukomi Ogumoko completes this report as presented from our studio. Delegations from the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management in Abuja, including state cabinet members, traditional rulers, head of various market leaders, and other party loyalists were all present at the flag of ceremony of the federal government cash grant for rural women in Oshobo, the Ocean State capital. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social, Sadia Omar Farouk, who was represented by the Director of Account, Matthew Dada, highlighted that the Grant for Rural Women program was introduced in 2020 to sustain the social inclusion agenda of President Buhari's administration. He stressed that the program designed with vision of lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty, as well as to provide grants to some of the poorest and vulnerable women in rural areas of the country. We encourage the state government to take a cue from this and other provisions in the discrimination against persons with disability prohibition act 2019. The grant is expected to increase income and productive assets. The state governor, Boyega Oyetola, represented by the secretary to the state government, highlighted on the activities of the government in the state towards ensuring better life for the citizenry. I congratulate all the beneficiaries and urge them to make good use of this grant to improve their well-being. As a state, we remain committed to supporting all our vulnerable citizens. This is because we are assured that building a valid state demands that we constantly put the needs of our people first. The wife of the state governor, Kafaya Toyetola, also used the medium to urge leaders of all progressive congress to include women in all party functional activities. We have a lot of women. The percentage of women that have registered for the party is more more than that of men. I use that medium to inform you that we need more women in positions. We don't want to be clapping and dancing all the time. We are lovely people. We don't fight among ourselves when it comes to the issue of elections. The Commissioner for Women Affairs lauded the state government for being proactive to encourage women on initiative programs as well as providing solutions to the issue of gender-based violence in the society. We have the resuscitation of women development centers across all local governments in the state for the empowerment of our women. We have the Oshu Women Clinic, you know, which gives psychosocial support, counseling, therapy to women who are in need. Some of the beneficiaries lauded the federal government for kind of gesture to assist aged youth and people with disabilities. We appreciate uh, APC. We appreciate uh, our Miebu governor, our governor Boegao Yetola. We really appreciate our minister, ably represented by uh, Mr. Dr. Dada. We really and our mommy. The grant is expected to increase income and product assets to target beneficiaries with hope that the beneficiaries of the program will make good use of the grant generally to contribute towards improving their living standard. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.